Hey, this is Lady C. I want to welcome you to Creative Studio. And in this upcoming episode, I'm going to show you how to import an existing email account into Gmail. Not only that, but it will bring all of your emails in the folders that you've identified in your other system. So let's hop to it. If you haven't already done so, be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. Okay, so before we get started, I highly recommend turning off the pop-up blocker so you don't have any issues through the process. So I'm using Google Chrome for this exercise. And to turn off the pop-up blocker, simply go to the three dots in the top right-hand corner of the screen, come down to Settings, and choose Settings. Next, you're going to go over to Privacy and Settings on the left-hand side. Click on that. Then you're going to come down to the middle of the screen, and you're going to look for Site Settings. Choose Site Settings. And last but not least, you're going to choose Pop-ups and Redirects. And from this window, you're going to allow pop-ups. So choose that first option. All you got to do is close that window. And now we're ready to begin. OK, I have my computer all set up and ready to go. You're going to notice at the top, I have two tabs open in my browser. If I point to the one tab, it shows Sean Clark 961 at yahoo.com. And I'm going to be importing this email into the one for Sean Clark 611 at gmail.com. Okay. I recommend having the one that you're going to import into the other open during the process so that you don't have to go through jumping through hoops trying to get logged in with the um, verification process. So what I'm going to do is click on the tab for Sean Clark for the Gmail. I'm going to come over to the gear icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Click on that. Come down to see all settings. Next, I'm going to come over to the link accounts and import. Click on that. And then I'm going to come down to import mail and contacts. And click on that. Now the system is asking me which email I want to import from. So it's the Sean Clark 961 at yahoo.com. Once I type that in, choose continue. Next, I get this message saying, sign into your other email account. So once you read this and you're good with it, choose continue. Okay, so now this other process takes place after you choose continue. And the screen says, by agreeing, you'll allow Shuttle Cloud Migration to access Yahoo Contacts, Profile, and your Yahoo Mail. Go ahead and choose agree. Now you can go ahead on and close this window because the authentication is successful. The system is checking. Now notice how you have three other options to choose from. You can import contacts, import mail, and you can also import new mail for the next 30 days. So what that means is from your old email that you're importing into the system, it will continue to bring that mail over for the next 30 days. Now, if you don't want to uh, import your contacts, you can remove the check mark there or even from the one that's going to import mail for the next 30 days. But for this particular lesson, I'm going to choose all three items here. So now we're going to go ahead and choose Start Import. Now, the next message that you're going to get is step number three, Finish. Your messages and contacts are being imported. It may take several hours, and sometimes it may take up to two days before you start to see imported messages. All you have to do is click on the OK button. In the window, it will show you the same message that we just read on the screen. If you made a mistake and you want to start over again, you can go over here and choose the Stop button 
to discontinue the process. But in the meantime, this process is taking place. And once it's done, it's going to put your uh, uh, the name of your email that you're coming from over here on the, le- the left-hand sidebar. And once this process is done, I will come back and show you how things shaped up. Okay, so it's been about an hour. I just went away from my computer, came back, and decided to see what's up with this file. But before we start delving into this process, let's just go back over to the Sean Clark 961 email. And I just want to kind of show you um, in here how I have uh, these different folders. Like you see one for Canva, Food, K-12 Podcast, Sally Beauty, and things like that. So you'll see some of these items over here. Now I'm going to go back over to the Sean Clark 611 for the Gmail account. Okay, so notice at the top of the window there's the yellow strip showing that the import is complete. It says your contacts and messages from Sean Clark 961 at Yahoo have finished importing. And the new messages will be forwarded daily. And now let's go looking for it over here. Here it is right here. You're going to notice that the Sean Clark uh, email is showing up over here. It it has its own label because it comes in as a label. And then, of course, there's the Canva. There's the food, the K-12 podcast, Sally Beauty, and things like that. So you're able to see how these various subfolders are actually porting into this Gmail account under the umbrella of Sean Clark 961 at yahoo.com. So this is how you would do that. And of course, if I click on Canva, you'll notice how some of these uh, emails from that particular folder are coming in. The one from the podcast that I had already had uh, set up on that account are starting to port in to my Gmail account. Okay, so I want to take this time to remind you to turn your pop-up blocker back on by going to the three dots at the top right-hand corner of your screen, coming down to settings, going over to privacy and security, then scrolling down to site settings, and then scrolling down to pop-ups and redirect, and then choose don't allow sites to send pop-up or redirects, okay? Now, I hope you enjoyed these tips, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.